I'm like, wait on the camera, sweetie. Jennifer, I thank you so much, sweetie, but you shouldn't have done all that. But I thank you very much. Thank you, Jennifer. I mean, Leslie. <laughs> I love you too, Jennifer. <laughs> Sorry you couldn't be here tonight. We miss you. Oh, thank you, Liz.
be able to have a banquet of this quality at the school, which I, where I think banquets need to be held, this is for what we're all about. And they've done a really great job for, you know, for a second year. It's really nice to show up and eat. That's why I basically did. Uh, a couple of special people to our program who are our biggest supporters, probably. Uh, one of them is just a supporter, takes up money for us here and there. The other person is on our coaching staff. He's a good luck charm, ball go getter, water bottle go getter, just general. Anything we need done, he does it. And that's Adam Knight. And of course, Dad Paul is always around to help us out whenever we need it. And they, they both do a great job.
There's uh, one other one. Wheeler we lost to Lafayette three times. I hate that more than anything else. But Lafayette finished, you know, ninth in the state. We lost to Northwest Whitfield twice, and they finished 13th in the state. So when you look at our losses, some pretty good folks beat us, and you know that's it's pretty good. So, you know, it's a good season, and the JV had an awesome season, 13 and 0, first undefeated season ever for the JV. So I feel pretty good about where our program is at, and as it, it's moving up. And Coach Knight makes a presentation for her.
awards are based on statistics. And that's the Hill Award, Block Award, the Dig Award, the Defense Award, and the Ace Award. We also give an academic award to the girl who has the highest GPA. Uh, two other. Was everybody laughing? Used to that was very competitive, but. Uh, there's three awards that Coach Knight and I decide on. There are the Coach's Award and the Most Improved Award. We have a special award tonight that we recognize. The first award we'd like to give out is the Most Improved Award. And I, she came to camp and she tried real hard. And I was even afraid for her safety, so I even told Coach Cameron. That was the lady from West Georgia who helps us with our camp in the summer. Now please be careful when using this person in a drill. I'm afraid she may be injured. Coach Cameron told me, well, she's going to be injured. She doesn't need to be out here, so she threw her to the wolves. She performed. She got better, better, better. Started on the JV. Uh, got a big kill there in the uh, last game of the tournament at Dalton. Secure a undefeated season. Uh, I remember the first of the year watching them during tryouts, telling Coach Knight, she's a sweet girl, but God, I just, I, I just don't know. Well, she proved me wrong. She didn't know I thought this about her. She's a great kid. You know. By the end of the year, she's a tough little volleyball player. And she improved a great deal. And that is Beverly Boss, which I'm most Creativity work with the running me. Yeah, it's the person that I really want to honor. Uh, she's been here for four years. She's done a lot for the original volleyball program. After myself, which is I've seen just over 200 original volleyball matches, and her daughter has seen, or actually played in about 170, 150. She's probably seen the most of any of the original volleyball uh, matches of anyone else alive. And we miss her. And we have the Networkers Award. Thanks for four years of service to Nina Johnson. comforting to know my other coaches scrambled for a bookkeeper. I just had to look over and knew that Nina would be there. The referees would all get happy when they saw Nina. Ah, oh, someone that knows what's going on. Many of times we would travel to other schools and they're supposed to have the official book and the referee would go, no, no, she's the official book. And that, that's a big time. Next person I'd like to recognize came to us this summer and had a huge impact on our program. Uh, instantly became very vital to me and Coach Knight. She was almost at every practice. She went to every volley JV volleyball match, every varsity match, I guess four or five times throughout. She got up at five on Saturday mornings and hop on the bus to ride God knows where. She probably spent more time in Rome, Georgia than most people have lived there. Because it seemed like every time I turned around we were in Rome playing somebody or doing something. She kept stats for us. She kept up with uniforms. She kept up with balls. She kept up with me. Uh, she statted in practice. She kept scoring practice. It was a tremendous help. And even Colin stats here at the end of the year, it was a, a big help. She even uh, helped me with the, the record book, which we do every year, as a lot of the current records in. She typed some of that, got that ready for us. And when I always put a team roster of the varsity players in it, I didn't know what to title her. Because the other players have outside hitter, setter, middle hitter. And she's 
she's much more than a manager and she's much more than a statistician. So under coaching staff, after Matt's Hawkey, head coach, and Coach Knight is assistant coach, we have Meredith Milhorn, and my bad typing misspelled her name, I'm sorry Meredith, student assistant. And she earned her first letter this year uh, for being our, our student assistant coach. Every time, but she never could remember where she needed to be. <laughs> uh, but nobody works harder than Jennifer. She's quite easy to coach. She's very literal. If I said Jennifer to make yourself a better volleyball player, we won't jump off the bleachers onto the ground. She'd say, yes, coach, you should be up there. She's a great kid to work with, and I really enjoyed it. And she also led her. We don't need a dust mop with, with this young lady. She, she does a very good job of mopping up the score of course. She's always on the ground. <laughs> we talked about relentless pursuit on defense. Uh, she's another very literal person. You know, her, her, her philosophy of defense is there's no such thing as a ball too far away. She'll chase it down into Kentucky if she has to. <laughs> Somehow another guy play on the ball. She always betters the ball. Somehow, I'm not real sure. She played some varsity for us at times. Uh, a great job on the JV. And her first letter this year is Crystal K. Ready to go, wants to play, 
Can't stand coming off the court. I like that. Sometimes I just wish she wouldn't run her mouth so much. <laughs> <laughs> But when you, when you, you want somebody back there that traumatized the attitude. She played back row for us a lot. She was afraid of nothing. Uh, I don't care how hard those things hit the ball, how close those walls were, how close those bleachers are, she's going after the ball. And I like that traumatized the attitude. I guess she gets the soccer. I don't know. That's Wendy Morehouse. Nice little JV player, and that would be 
did. I never dreamed that she would be this good of a setter. And uh, several coaches would come up to me after matches and compliment me on how well I coached my setter. And I decided, thank you, thank you very much. And little do they know that Heather does most of it on her own. I just can't say enough about the young lady. She's, she's always here, always working hard, and uh, it, it, it's neat to have a kid that can, that can deal with that position and it makes my job a lot easier. Her second, this is huge. This is her third letter. I'm sorry, and that's Heather. Next 
young lady. If I was going to give an award for the mother hen, she would win it. <laughs> she knows everything going on. She's always wanting to help. She's helped with the record book type. Today, she, she's my inside scoop on the team, pretty much. Uh, I remember when she came out in sophomore year. I remember that first camp. And you, you know what your, your, your daughters are like after Coach Cameron gets through with them when it's about 95 degrees and they come home from sopping wet. Probably the first thing they do is eat and go to bed. And then the next morning, you can't get them out of bed. She was hating life after two days from her first camp. She was sore. She couldn't do any of the skills. And then we started a drill on blocking. Suddenly she knew she had a place on the volleyball team. She dominated the drill. Last year, she was the only person to give Heather a hard time on the net. Uh, she started this year with a dominant force. Defensively, most of the coaches would say, you know, since you're, you're a tall girl, just gives us a hard time. We have to go around. She's had 27 blocks this year, which is second all-time for a single year. She's fourth all-time in blocks. She sneaked into the top 10 on kills, 63. I didn't let her serve. She's still working on that. <laughs> and uh, Diggs, I didn't let her pass much in. She got better at it. She, she, she got where she helped us out a good bit on her dig. But she was a force. Many coaches, many players for the other team hit the ball out of bounds. Just avoid her block. And that's just as good as a block. She worked hard. I, I don't... I, Words to leave me when I'm trying to talk about Andrea. Uh, we are going to retire her name, tree. <laughs> <laughs> no one else ever plays volleyball originally ever be called tree. I don't care if their name is Sarah Wooden and they're eight feet tall, they will not be called tree. That's right. And of course, we have little tree coming up pretty soon. <laughs> uh, Andrea, this is the second letter. It's been a pleasure.
fifth on the all-time dig list, and eighth on all-time blocks. Three-year starter, a three-year letterman, uh, had the pleasure of being on a region championship in cross country, a region championship, an area championship in volleyball, and it's just, I'm going to have a hold on the opposite center. She's where she's been. It's been her, her little home for the last three years. And it's just, it's, it, it, I just think it's put in the words my feelings for great. Probably would have been higher in aces, but I missed 
I, I put her in so many different rotations, so a lot of times she serves six. And if you serve six, it's like the fifth starter in baseball. You're going to get less opportunities to serve in the first, second, and third serve. And her defensive skills, best passer that we've ever had here. She was nominated for uh, Senior All-Stars in the state of Georgia. She was nominated for Player of the Year in North Georgia. Uh, she was nominated for All-State. A lot of these ballots have not been counted yet, so I, I, I do not know how that has turned out. Uh, been great to coach. Very glad she's part of my program, part of my life. Uh, number two, uh, I hope never be able to look at that number again. And, and, and just, somebody else might wear number two, they'll have a hard time feeling. And it, we're also going to retire her name. Nobody else will be called to boot. Uh, that always causes us some. There's many people throughout Georgia that know her only as Boo. That's Becky. Better yet, Rebecca Bay. They are uh, totally, totally sponsored to each other. She's also our academic award winner by uh, just a small, just that much, defensive award winner. Uh, she was a captain this year. It is, she had a great year her senior year. And, uh, I will miss her
Judas Lombardi could have been an apostle. He always just seemed to use Bible quotes. His, his coach is lost. This is Galatians 6 9. Let us not grow weary in doing well. For in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Let's stay committed to the top. Bring home another area of championship. It's been great. Again, it's an honor and privilege to coach your daughters. I can't think of any better way I'd rather spend my fall with this group of young ladies. It, there's no words to describe it, and it, it, it's great. And I thank you all. Thank you for your support. Thank your daughters and you girls for playing for me. It means a lot. That's all I have. Thanks. Well, Stand up, stand up in front of me. Meredith, you need to be over there too. <laughs> okay.